1. Trump and Carlson baselessly claim U.S. sabotaged Nord Stream pipelines. This headline focuses on the lack of evidence supporting Trump and Carlson's claims, and highlights the potentially dangerous implications of such accusations. 2. Former President Trump hints at U.S. involvement in pipeline explosions. This headline puts the focus on Trump's comments and insinuations during his interview with Tucker Carlson suggesting that Trump may have knowledge of U.S. involvement in the Nord Stream pipeline explosions. 3. Europe on edge as Trump and Carlson point fingers at Biden administration. This headline emphasizes the potential consequences of Trump and Carlson's claims for European relations, and suggests that their accusations could create diplomatic tensions. 4. Experts dismiss Trump and Carlson's theory about Nord Stream explosions. This headline takes a more skeptical approach to Trump and Carlson's claims, highlighting the lack of evidence and the opinions of experts who have cast doubt on their theory. 5. The Nord Stream Controversy. What we know and what we don't. This headline takes a broader approach, summarizing the background and context of the Nord Stream controversy and highlighting the many unknowns surrounding the pipeline explosions. Former President Donald Trump and Fox News host Tucker Carlson have been pushing a baseless conspiracy theory that the Biden administration was responsible for the explosions that damaged the Nord Stream natural gas pipelines. In an interview with Carlson, Trump made his strongest insinuation to date that the United States sabotaged the pipelines, despite providing no evidence to support his claim. Carlson has been advocating for this idea using less than convincing evidence, and has falsely claimed that the Biden administration promised to blow up the pipeline. This conspiracy theory is extremely provocative, and would have significant implications for our relationships with European allies. Destroying the pipelines would be an act of aggression and would be met with the strongest possible response from the European Union. Despite Carlson's claim that Trump was telegraphing that he knew the truth, Trump himself suggested recently that he doesn't. It's not at all clear how Trump would have obtained such information, and even if he did, it would be highly sensitive information that should not be broadcasted on national TV. Subscribe for more content like this. This conspiracy theory is part of Trump's long-standing effort to suggest the Biden administration is at fault for the war in Ukraine. It's a dangerous and irresponsible game that risks undermining our relationships with allies and stoking tensions with Russia. It's time for Trump and Carlson to stop pushing this baseless theory and start focusing on real issues that affect the American people. The issue here is not just that Trump and Carlson are promoting a baseless theory with potentially serious consequences for international relations, but also the broader trend of spreading misinformation and disinformation in media and politics. We've seen this phenomenon play out in various forms, from the spread of COVID-19 misinformation to false claims of election fraud. The consequences can be far-reaching, from fueling distrust in institutions to stoking violence and unrest. In the case of Nord Stream, it's particularly concerning because it involves not just the United States and Russia, but also key European allies. The pipeline is a major source of energy for countries like Germany, which have been working to reduce their dependence on fossil fuels and transition to cleaner sources of energy. A deliberate attack on the pipeline could disrupt these efforts and have a ripple effect on the global energy market. It's important to remember that journalism and media have a responsibility to report accurate information and hold those in power accountable. While it's important to explore all possible angles and theories, it's equally important to base these reports on facts and evidence, not speculation and conspiracy. As for the Nord Stream explosions, we may never know the truth of what happened. But what's clear is that spreading baseless theories and false claims does more harm than good, and it's up to all of us to be critical consumers of media and information. Despite the lack of evidence, Trump and Carlson's claims have the potential to cause significant damage to U.S. foreign policy. The United States has long been a supporter of Ukraine in its conflict with Russia, and any suggestion that the U.S. was involved in the Nord Stream pipeline attacks could provoke Russian retaliation against Ukraine thereby escalating the conflict. Furthermore, if the U.S. is perceived as responsible for the pipeline attacks, this could damage relations with European allies who depend on the pipeline for their energy needs. The European Union has already expressed its disapproval of the pipeline attacks, and any suggestion that the U.S. was involved could cause further tensions between the U.S. and Europe. In addition, 
Trump's claims raise concerns about the handling of classified information by former presidents. The fact that Trump is discussing sensitive information on national TV, without any evidence to back up his claims, is worrying and could lead to further legal troubles for the former president. Overall, the claims made by Trump and Carlson regarding the Nord Stream pipeline attacks are unsubstantiated and potentially damaging to U.S. foreign policy. It is important that we rely on evidence-based information to make decisions that affect our relationships with other countries and our national security. In conclusion, the theory that the Biden administration was responsible for the Nord Stream pipeline explosions is one without any concrete evidence to back it up. Despite this, former President Donald Trump and Fox News host Tucker Carlson continue to push the theory, with Trump hinting at responsibility in a recent interview. The lack of evidence and the potential ramifications of such an act make it all the more concerning that these claims are being spread without any basis in reality. It's crucial that we rely on facts and evidence to make informed decisions, rather than relying on baseless conspiracy theories that could have serious consequences. Thanks for watching. Subscribe our channel for authenticity.